Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. And let's crack into another one. TNT, I have a I have an ethical question for you. Oh, I like ethics. This came up. So it's one okay. of my favorite okay. subjects to discuss, actually. So say say you go to the grocery store, right? And you're and you're buying like a bottle of hot sauce. Because this exact situation happened to me. This is why I'm asking. You. I'm listening. So you you pick up a bottle of hot sauce, you're walking back to the cart. The bottle of hot sauce slips out of your hand, falls on the floor, and just shatters. Makes a mess. Hot sauce all over the GD floor. Bet. How long, if at all, do you search for an employee to tell them that there's a mess in that aisle that you made? How long? Like, like you drop the thing. What do you do? Do you try to find someone and say, hey, I dropped a bottle of sauce. There's a mess. Do you just walk away? What, what do you do? All right. So I'm in the hot sauce aisle, right? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, okay. the sauce aisle. Yeah. It's okay. all the barbecue sauces, everything in there. So my quick thinking, like me out in the field thinking like I'm in, I'm in the jungle. Throw more on the floor so it's a bigger mess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was an earthquake. <laughs> earthquake. <laughs> no, I think I take the large, the biggest bottle of like Pete's Red Hot that they have Put that down on the floor next to the mess to mark it so that people know. Got to be safe. Okay. No, all wet, right. no wet floor sign. Put the bottle down. Put, just put an extra bottle right yeah. next to it. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> it's Pete's, everybody. If you want some, it's right on yeah, the floor. Exactly. Tra- tra- t- taste test. Yeah. All right. In my mind, most employees hiding in the back. That's usually where like the frozen food is and the deli. Easy employee. Right. But so, what if the store is giant? You're going to walk all the way to the deli? I mean, you know, it, most shopping stores, the, like the grocery section, are walkable. I, I to a certain so, extent. So okay, this they're happened, meant to be walkable. They, this happened at the big H E B. You know, you've been to it. It's pretty effing big. It is big. It's like a Walmart sized H E B. This happened to you. This, this this situation literally happened to me. Okay, and what what did you so, do? What did so you do? I dropped the it on the a floor. Little far. It shattered. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, this sucks. So I walked first. I walked straight back to the the back aisle yeah. of the store. Looked each direction. Yeah. No employee. All right. And I was like, okay. So then I walked all the way to the front of the store. Yeah. Through, there was like two sections of aisles. Got to the front of the store. Looked both ways. No employee. Went down to the middle aisle. Walked, walked halfway each way. No employee. I just left. Just went on my way. Oh, I I spent, I spent seven minutes You're looking for an employee. That's a felony. Seven minutes. That's a felony. What do you mean it's a felony? That's a B U B and E, dude. That's a B and E. A breaking and entering? That's a fucking B and E, man. So You went in and you broke it and then you exited. Bro, break and ex- <laughs> I spent seven minutes looking for an employee. I timed it. Ooh, that's a long time. But it was it was at night, so it was like it was like ten o'clock at night. And they're just they're, so the they're store just was the, pretty every, empty. It's a permanent smoke break. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I spent no seven really minutes, is. and I was like, "That's reasonable." Yeah. And then I was just like, I went on my way. Yeah. I mean, look. I honestly, I think you did your due diligence. That's what I feel. I just thank you for validating. I my honestly diligence. do. I, I called you a felon, but I honestly, I think you should get off. <laughs> <laughs> for good behavior. All right. All that's right. that's very funny. And that, <laughs> it honestly, that's a good ethical thing. There, they well, also, the reason I dropped is I had two in my hands and yeah. one slipped out. I had two in one hand, two glass bottles in one hand, and yeah. it just like I lost my grip on one, and one popped up and fucking hit the floor and broke. And I was like, I tried to catch it, and it hit my foot, and and it hit the ground, rolled, and then hit the shelf and went <laughs> and shattered. And I was like. How big was the bottle? Was it? Like oh, it a- was like a sixteen ounce bottle of hot Whoa. sauce, dude. It was big. It was. It was Whoa. a big boy. It was a lot of sauce. It was. A lot of- it, was it was. It was. It was. It wasn't across the whole floor though. It was kind of isolated against the against the shelf a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So it uh, wasn't like just all over the place. Did you tell the cashier? No. I forgot by the time what? I got. It. Forgot. <laughs> It happened in the first 10 minutes and I forgot all I about it. I forgot. I got busy, yo. Wow. Now, see, now I don't necessarily, I'm not on your side anymore. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? Because A, A, yes, you did go seven minutes. B, maybe that was because you took a bad route. A bad route? I was in the middle of the store. I, I did the- I did. Then you go, to the, you go to the deli or you go to the cashier. 
if you can't find an employee. You know there's always somebody at the front, especially at the self-checkout, because, like, legally, they don't want you stealing The, the cashiers had, like, they had lines. It was, like, three deep in every line. The self-checkout, though. That's, like, another five minutes walking down there, bro. <laughs> five minutes? I got to walk down bro. there. I got to tell her. I got to show her what I is. I now I think that you put a little sauce on your story. Why is there sauce in my There's story? There's a little sauce on your story because you could walk that entire H-E-B in five minutes. You could walk from one end to the other in five minutes. So if you were in a sauce aisle, which is most likely towards the center, it would have been a two and a half minute walk. And, and that's being generous in either direction for you to find. I was scouring for employees. <laughs> scouring? I was scouring. You were scouring. Your Honor, I say is that it is not a crime to have bad planning. If you had gone to the aisle, he would have, if he had gone to the You know what else isn't bad? Having employees walking around a GD store. <laughs> it's smoke break. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I work night shift because it is a permanent smoke break. It really is. You kidding me? Yeah, it is. I've worked night shift for a long time. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a permanent smoke break. Let me ask you this. What's that? Completely unrelated. I would Do not. you think... Yes. That you're responsible to buy that item. Just br br you break it, you buy no, it. No, um, no, no. I'm, I'm yeah, honestly, and I don't think stores charge you for that stuff. They just kind of like write it off. It's like, no, we're good because, like, if you go walk into a store where it's like, if I break it, I buy it. I'm not gonna go to that store because I because accidents I, happen. Exactly, exactly what happened to me. I grab two. I'm walking. One falls out of my hand. Like exactly. I'll be like. Like, if you ruin a case of hot sauce, then, like, buddy. Or if I walk in and just go down the aisle with my arm and just <laughs> knock every, every yeah. one. Yeah, then they're like, yeah, you owe that money, bro. Yeah, like, but if, like, you your, your purse bumps it, you know, your, your purse. purse. Yeah, my purse, dude. <laughs> my fanny pack on my back just to spin around and my baba dunk just clicks a, clicks your, a case off the shelf. Your baba dunk? No, Is, my badunka dunk. I thought you said your baba dunk. My dunk. baba dunk just... <laughs> Yo, my Bob, yo, my Baba yo, Girls got a donk and donks. Jonas has a Baba Duck. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That was a that was a horror movie. The it Baba was. I, I like that movie, except for the kids screaming. But yeah, so I wouldn't want to go to a store that's going to charge me if I knock something off. So most stores, they're just like, all right, you messed up. It's cool. You know, no matter what the item may be, it feels like a legitimate mistake. But if yeah. like everything's on camera, so they know who you are. Yeah, next time I went in, they were like, listen, sir, last yeah. time you were here. And it was H-E-B, and they basically, they own Texas. They're they're part of the tribunal, man. If I got banned from H-E-B, I'd be sad. Yo, you you should. You should. You I would should, be. I should be banned. <laughs> yeah, think of like a giant poster of you breaking hot sauce. <laughs> It's like a Photoshop picture of me with hot sauce on my head. Hanging like, from the rafters they, of an H-E-B. They, they just like, yeah, they got the bad check. They have me like my hands up in the air looking at the floor with just a splurt of hot sauce on the ground. <laughs> they have like, they have like employed fueled shows that they have of like just of the event and making fun you of you. If you see Jonas enter this store, <laughs> they got a super soaker filled yes. with hot sauce. They just, they just do a little play where they like shit. <laughs> this is what you do if you see Jonas. Yeah, they let's reenact his crime. <laughs> he didn't even offer to pay. Yeah, the two dollars for that bottle of hot sauce. <laughs> what if the next time you go in H E B, you get to the cashier and they say, "Hey, we know you broke the you know you broke the hot sauce. That'd be two fifty plus labor three fifty. I give it to him. Would you? Would you continue to go to H E B? Yep. I would never. You are not gonna. <laughs> You are not going to grocery store mafia me. That's not happening. It's not Look, happening. Look, the manager comes up, just taps you on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir. Come with me. Oh! You have to come Takes you to the back room like no. in Vegas when you get caught cheating. He's I'm like, we know what you did. You going to tell us what you did? Because we know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> They come in, they got the the neck of the broken bottle. They're like, does this what? look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They're like, I don't know what that is, sir. Don't lie to me. <laughs> they, start, they start naming off your relatives. They say your mom's name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, They're like, like, what the hell? <laughs> like, yeah, we we went and paid Mrs. Jonas to yeah. visit. How's she doing out there, huh? Yeah, how's she doing in Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa. You're like, oh, 
We might take a trip out to Minnesota this week if you don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> start mentioning like friends and people that you know, like yeah. just like whoa, okay, all right, yeah, all right. right. Here's the, here's the three dollars. Yeah, the $3, they're all like, guys. yeah, your friend Z in Ohio. Yeah, yeah we know where he. We, yeah, we about to take a visit out there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we are gonna bring this neck of this bottle with us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> about to get his neck wet. And you're like, whoa. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Three fifty. Yeah, I would never go back if they charged me three fifty. You would never. <laughs> if they charged me three dollars and fifty cents, like I walk in and they're like, it was just like, Boo! like like the siren goes mm. off and I, they're like, I have to come in and pay the troll toll before I can like check out. Oh, the, I'll do it. But three fifty, three hundred fifty. I'll pee on the floor and then walk out. <laughs> you know, that's I'll get charge. real banned if I'm going to get banned. They will kill your family. This grocery store <laughs> sounds serious. They, they Whichever are. one it is. All right. That's all I'm going to be for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for joining us. See you, T. Oh, yep.